You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at bbmglobalnetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. This is CEO Essence with your host, Renee Murata. Renee believes that when a woman balances her feminine intuition and connects with her inner masculine decisiveness and drive, she can excel in every aspect of her life. CEO Essence is about compassionate leadership. So now, please welcome the host of CEO Essence, Renee Murata. Good evening. This is Renee with CEO Essence, and I'm coming to you live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And, um, you know, if you've ever wondered about chakras and chakra healing, well, our guest this evening is Sarah Lines, and Sarah, um, that's exactly what she does. Um, Sarah is graduated. She's um, got a degree in midwifery, right? Um but you ended up going into clearing chakras. You even have a book about it, uh, The Roots of Your Chakras. You are a collaborating author in one. Um, yeah, just a lot of information here about chakras. So welcome, Sarah. I'm so excited to have you on. Thank you. So great to be here. Oh goodness! So it's morning for you, isn't it? It's it's uh, like seven o'clock in the morning for you. It is. Um, yes, no, it's seven thirty morning at the moment. Oh, okay, seven thirty. That uh, seems kind of strange. So, Sarah, I was reading through your chapter again. Um, yeah, it seems because you know it's midnight for me. It's half hour off there. Um, I was rereading through your chapter and uh, was really struck by some of the stuff that you put in there. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it because I all I'm also a Reiki master. Um, so yeah. I I. And I work with crystals a lot and chakras. And so it was really interesting to read through this and see uh, the perspective of another Reiki master, Grand Master. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but I, before we get started, um, I wanted you to ask you a little bit about how you got into all of this, because you share a little bit about that in, in the book. And um, if you don't mind okay. sharing with folks because I know a lot of people struggle with how you know can is this really does this really work (laughs) yeah okay yeah sure um so for me it it all started when I came into recovery in 2014 from a, a chronic addiction um got recovery and in clean of a thing, thank God. But it was that following year that I, I don't even know how it happened, to be honest. Reiki found me, um, got into mm. the crystals, realized how important the chakras are in our lives. And it just went from there. So like I said in the book, I, I did uh, get a degree in midwifery, but I just found that my calling was so much deeper than working in a hospital on a ward. I wanted to help people across the globe, and that's sort of how it all happened in a nutshell. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Reiki kind of found me as well, Uh, so it's kind of funny how that happens. Um, But you, you got really into working with chakras and crystals. So tell me why chakras are so so important, making sure that our chakras are clear and, you know, first of all, what are chakras? Maybe we should start there. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we all have them. Even our beautiful little pets have them. 
Uh, we've got lots and lots of chakras all throughout our body, but seven major ones that play huge roles in our lives. Now, these are energy centers. They're swirling vortexes of energy that run from inside of our body out to our aura and, and beyond. And when these, when the energy gets blocked due to possibly an unhealthy lifestyle or past traumas, um, and things like that, then that's when we're going to find more symptoms come up in our lives. That's when we fall into disease and sickness. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll explain that simply. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I, I talk, a, a, the show is really about, um, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, working with, with, um, women that are in leadership roles. And, you know, I've spoken about the different energies that we all, we all, we all have, right. It's just the whole yeah. universe is made up of energy and I'm a physicist. Yeah. So that's actually my background is physics. So for wow. me, it's not a, um, it was never a reach to figure out, you know, the chakras and all of that. And anybody who's yeah. done acupuncture is going to be familiar with at least some of the, um, terminology when, when, if they're not familiar mm. with chakras, right. Um, the concept yeah. that, of the aura and the meridian lines and all of those things. So, um, yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think, um, you know, for, well, for me, it's very clear. So <laughs> it's, just, it's always easy, yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, you really talk about why it's so important to have our mm. chakras be clear. What are some of the th things that can happen when our chakras are blocked? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, for example, let's say we were talking about the heart center and the heart chakra was blocked due to, say, possibly a divorce or extreme grief, sadness, and mm. it went on too long. Resentment is a huge one here. Then the cells in our body literally change, and this is when we start to see things like lung cancer, breast cancer, heart problems, things like that. So each chakra resonates with a different energy. It governs different areas of the body. So, you know, the root chakra is all about survival and safety and, you know, feeling safe in this world and grateful for all that we have. Each chakra will present something differently when it's blocked. Okay. Yeah, I think um, uh, one of the things that, like for me, I know that my throat chakra, for example, because I <clears throat> constantly, <clears throat> you know, um, yeah. so I can, uh, I, you know, I know that when it starts to get blocked again, I'm swallowing my words, for example, you know, or um, yeah. holding back my words. That's, uh, I think when I'm talking Absolutely. to people, I'll explain it that way to them. Or it may be uncried yeah. tears. Sometimes the grief can, sw you know, sit in there. Uh, my my little girl, she's uh, eleven. She'll swallow her tears, and she'll start to get yeah. her throat will start to hurt, you know. And I'm like, no, just it's okay yeah. to cry, you know. Um, yeah. So that. Oh, big... Yeah, I, I think. You know, you you talked, you said it's easy to for chakras to get blocked and there's so many different ways that it can happen you mentioned grief you mentioned anger resentment you know um mm. i think women a lot of times don't feel that they can speak so a lot of women have throat issues for example or heart issues yes. um yes or even power you know the power chakra yes. if they don't feel that they can speak up and speak their peace right yeah. 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 Can they, um, it, when we have blocked chakras, can they impact how we work, for example? Oh, that's huge. Yes. Um, basically, all I would say all of the chakras would relate to um, how we work, whether in a positive way or a perceived negative way. Uh, the solar plexus is a big one for women in business. 
Um, this mm-hmm. governs our ability to stand in our power and feel motivated and set and achieve goals. Uh, whereas if this chakra is blocked, if the solar plexus is blocked, we're going to feel like tired. We might have digestion issues. We might procrastinate and have a lot of subconscious uh, blocks going on so that we self-sabotage because this chakra is also connected to our mind, our subconscious mind. You know, we hear about the gut-brain connection, mm-hmm. in, um, you know, in science, but this is also relevant with the chakras. Very yeah, important. very important. So um, I want to mm. h- hold on to that thought because we actually have to take a break. Um, but when we sure. get back, we'll talk a little bit more about the block chakras and how they can impact us. So this is Renee with CEO yeah. Essence, and I'm visiting with Sarah Lyons this evening. We'll be right back. Master of words, powerful player. What life-changing words can Dr. Janet Smith-Warfield pull out of her magical toolbox that just might mysteriously open a door you never knew was there? A door to free yourself from fear forever. Transform your rage into right action. Release your guilt. Position you into a life of freedom, purpose, passion, power, and peace. All quite suddenly, unexpectedly, and almost miraculously, with no effort on your part. Join Dr. Janet every Monday at noon Eastern on Dancing with Words, Dancing with Wisdom on the BBM Global Network as she and her guests show you how words map our experiences, immersing you in a sound bath that relaxes your muscles, opens your mind, and supports you in co-creating your extraordinary life. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. All right, so we're back um, live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am Renee, and I'm visiting with Sarah Lyons from Australia. We're talking about chakras and the importance of um, the importance of our chakras, and really being aware of how it can impact us if we aren't aware and we allow them to get blocked, right? So we were talking just before the break about um, some different ways that it shows up um, when our, when our chakras are blocked. And you mentioned in work in the workplace, some of the different ways um, mm-hmm. such as, you know, not being in our power or being able to speak our, our truth. So um, some other things that might that you might want to um, add to that? Yeah, sure. So um, like we were saying uh, about the throat, actually, this is probably the the biggest um, issue I see for women, especially women in business, uh, is that they literally can't grasp their words or they are scared to speak their truth because they fear... um, like a backlash or ridicule and a lot of this can stem from either childhood or abuse growing up or even from past lives we find that these chakras um the really hard ones to to clear and keep unblocked usually i would be looking even further back so like i said they all relate to um us women standing in our power being in business speaking our truth feeling all Authentic. Uh, the root chakra can hold a lot of ancestral beliefs and, uh, like I mentioned before, a lot of fear 
and um, what else did I say? Fear and just feeling unsafe in the world. Oh, right. So you right. see how this could relate to women in, in business. <laughs> Yeah, and I think um, even right now with the um, pandemic, you know, the fear really making sure mm. that we're we're standing and um, yeah. and not standing in fear, right? We have to really clear things yeah. out and clear the you know clear the chakras out. And um, but yes, in the workplace, I you know I'm um, a business owner in the workplace, and and uh, my niche. I am the only female business owner in my niche. Um, so it, I am often surrounded by, yeah, um, at least that we're aware of. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm always surrounded by men, always. And so it can be very daunting, you know, that swallowing your words, being careful, mm. because you don't want to be seen as too aggressive. You don't want to be seen as too soft. You don't want to be seen, mm. you know, and so these are things that women struggle with. And I found that when I started regularly clearing my chakras or having them cleared, um, at first I had to have somebody else help me with it. Um, yeah. Then it became easier for me to stand in my power. It became easier for me to be fearless, right? Um, there's still uh, awareness, but there's not fear that's involved with that. And, um, yeah, that's interesting. I, I didn't, you know, and I, I never really... I never really put it together that it was chakras because I was doing so many other things as well. I, I was doing all, you know, like all this energy work, do it, fix it, everything now. Um, but yeah, even now I'm like, Oh, my throat, I need to clear my throat chakra. <laughs> yeah. 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 You definitely. Get a lot of self-awareness around your body and how you're running. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I think we, we, as we learn what we don't know, we start learning more and then, you know, start filling in gaps and then we learn how much we really don't know. (laughs) Yeah. So tell me when you're working with somebody, what, how do you like start with somebody? Like when, when somebody yeah, comes well, to you, um, do they come to you I'm with not... a problem or just, you know, like me, fix yeah, me? Look, um, <laughs> yeah, mostly uh, women, because I work with women, uh, they know something's wrong innately. Mm-hmm. So they know right. something's off, they know something's wrong, uh, whether it's just feeling really foggy and a bit and a bit scattered in the brain or they just know that they're not happy and that there is a road, um, you know, a road through this with energy healing. Most of them have tried everything else and they're trying energy healing sort of as a last resort and, and so many of them come out the other side a completely in a completely new state of awareness. It's just it's beautiful. It's very empowering for them. Mm-hmm. So you do chakra clearing, but you also do other types of energy work, correct? You do, you're a Reiki master, you work with crystals. Um, I see you even talk about alchemy in your chapter. Um, So do you focus on any one of those or, um, you know, do you just use kind of the whole toolbox with your clients? Yeah, absolutely. So I I use a mixture of everything. Um, it's very rare for me to do one-off sessions these days because I run programs for women so that they can completely clear. That's <laughs> my dog, sorry. They can completely clear. That's okay. But also have the knowledge to know how to keep their systems clear. So yes, I use a toolbox of everything, but I also give that knowledge to the woman to take away with her so that hopefully she can keep herself clear for the rest of her life because what that means is better health and longevity. Right. 
Well, let's hang on to that and we'll talk about clearing chakras and some of the different things that you do when we come back from our second break. This is Renee with CEO Essence and I'm visiting with Sarah Lyons from Australia about energy clearing. So we'll be right back. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations, Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately 3.5 to 4 million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings. What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale. An international initiative called Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Okay, so we're back with Sarah Lines. This is Renee Murata on um, CEO Essence. We're live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And just before the break, we were talking about um, some of the different tools that Sarah utilizes when she's working with a, a client. And um, Sarah, you know, before you were mentioning that you do some alchemy, some Reiki, um, crystals chakra clearing and kind of do a, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but what I th- found interesting is that when somebody comes to you, they often come to you kind of as a last resort, like they've tried everything else and I might as well try energy healing. <laughs> right. And yeah. then they come out on the other end, like uh, totally transformed. And um, yeah. I'm always, I'm always, you know, I, I guess because of who I am and the way I was brought up and the, you know, I was brought up in the church and, and, uh, was in the church for many, many years. And, but I'm, I always believed in energy work and I actually ended up studying physics and, um, but I didn't start in energy work until my daughter went into her dark period of life. And so I, I went to energy healing because I wanted to try and, and heal some of the trauma between she and I um, to help start her on her path of healing. Um, so that was really where I and how I ended up really starting in the energy world. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's interesting that that's how people are. You mentioned you have some different programs. Um, tell me a little bit about your program. So I, I went to your site. Um, I went, I was tracking you down everywhere. <laughs> I'm looking at some of the different things that you have and you've got some really interesting things. So tell me a little bit about some of the stuff that you have. Yeah, so I still offer my one-on-one services. I like to um, do inner child healings, past life regressions, uh, quantum Mm. healings, but my main focus and my passion is my Goddess Alchemy programs because, you know, someone can come to me for one session and go away and we haven't looked at the whole picture, yeah? We've, We've only 
we've only sorted out right. this one aspect of their life. So with the Goddess Alchemy program, this is really helping women to feel powerful, uh, feel that self-love, and all the while their energetic systems are being completely cleared. We're sort of rewiring everything in there so they can leave the program feeling really empowered, powerful, and, and beautiful. So that's, mm. that is my passion. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds um, sounds marvelous. So, so, do you teach people how to, I guess, how to heal themselves, and then provide them with tools that when they walk away, they can continue to um, keep everything running smoothly? I guess. Yeah. So, what I do, I don't um, offer certificates in healing, but. What I do with the women, um, because I believe there is there is no, well, I don't see the higher benefit of, of coming to someone, getting a healing and then leaving and not knowing what to do after that. So mm-hmm. I do teach women how to keep their energy clear once they leave. Uh, so whether that's using specific crystals, aromatherapy, um, particular exercises or activities, um, to go away and utilize regularly to keep their energies clear. But the biggest, I'm such a big advocate of meditation because you don't need a certificate, a certificate in healing to be able to heal yourself. Meditation brings us into that beautiful state of healing and using the power of our intentions and, and bringing in some white light or, or whatever the lady resonates with, they're going to be able to self-heal. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. I um, I I can just see how empowering that would be, and you know, like I'm I'm already picturing various women that I work with, um, or have worked with in the past, or come in contact with that I'm I'm just like, the program would be so good for them in so many ways, yeah. and um, yeah. it just. Business, I, I think women that are in the business world, in the world of, um, or in leadership roles, um, women in those types of environments tend to be uh, more stressed out. They tend to be more closed off. They mm. tend to um, be, yeah. and, and I, you know, I speak from experience, right? So I, I do work with, with women and, um, my other business, I'm surrounded by men, and the few women that I do come in contact with are so um, stifled or aggressive, which is another way of being stifled because yeah. they can't be them their true selves, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, it's always interesting to me. Um, so I just see how this would be so helpful for so many different people. So let's talk a little bit about Absolutely. some of some of the different ways. Let's see. We kind of went a completely different route than what we were, had anticipated going, but um, I'm so fascinated by <laughs> so fascinated by the soul, the alchemy and everything that you do. So um, I apologize uh, for taking you off a different route. <laughs> um, but you're you're a yeah, yeah. Well, good. I'm <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> um, you also work with angels um, as well, correct? You work with some of the different angels and yeah. different guides and that sort of thing um, in your healing. Do you call them in regularly? Um, do you find that women that are that are coming to you kind of like, ooh, don't know if I want to work with you, but I'm going to give it a try. Are they, they resistant to that idea that an angel might actually be there to help? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're actually at a break. So yeah. we're going to, I'm going to help. Yeah. I'm going to okay. have you hold that thought for just a second. <laughs> uh, this is, yeah, <laughs> this is for a day. <laughs> uh, with CEO Essence, we are live on BBM Global Network, tune in radio. And I'm visiting with Sarah. We'll be right back. 
<laughs> Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the veteran spokestyle wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBC. BBM Global Network. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality? But it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating. Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. All right, so we're back, and um, just before the break, I asked Sarah if she, when she's working with women that are reluctant to come to see you, Sarah, um, you know, because you do work with angels and you work with guides, do you, um, question for you is, do you tell them, do you talk to your clients about the fact that you talk with angels? Do they know? I mean, yeah. I'm always so surprised when people are so reluctant to hear that the angels might want to help them. I'm just curious if it's the same in yeah, Australia. So. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I have only come across a couple of ladies um, years ago now that were very reluctant uh, and very nervous to come and see me. So I, I found mm-hmm. that it closed off their their energy to me to allow the healing um so i definitely didn't mention gods and angels with them (laughs) (laughs) yeah mostly mostly, um people love it they they love to know that they're not alone and they're being looked after and the angels are there helping them yeah it's beautiful it's it's interesting i i think maybe it's um because I, I work with a slightly different group, typically. Um, I do work with women that are more in a, a leadership role. And so they're so closed mm-hmm. off. You know, they're so closed yeah. off that it's just, it's very difficult for them to get past that because they've done it all on their own for so long. Yeah. Right. Um, and and um, so I'm I'm trying to figure out how to, let them know they're not alone. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it's just that simple. Unfortunately, until they're ready, it's very hard to help someone open their eyes until they're ready, ready for mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so you um, work... So I'm I'm on the Facebook page and you have this Ascension School as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You just have so much going on, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the Ascension School is for people who are really interested in the mystical side of life. So we we take a lot of journeys. We talk about everything, basically. You know, there's nothing off 
off limits in that group. So it's really good for those that want to learn and talk about this stuff. Mm-hmm. Nice. Guides and guides and, yeah. So it's kind of for the people that are really ready for that next level of work. Uh, yeah. And awareness. Yes. Yeah. And, and opening. Yeah. Definitely. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So much. You do so okay. much. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm going to take us back to one, <laughs> to uh, the book. Uh, <laughs> well, you've got a lot in here, too. I mean, in here you talk about um, the universal law of correspondence. You talk about um, how we're all connected and interconnected and um, how we really can feel other people's energies um, you know, and, and yeah. I think more people are empathic than they realize. Um, yeah. You know, I I just, I really think more people have that empathic ability than, than they're yeah. aware of. Yeah. And I, I feel like if, if we did a better job educating our kids, our students, our, even each other on what is an empath what does that mean to be empathic and people were willing to listen and hear that it might help them understand why they have the mood swings, why they have, why they're impacted when they walk into a room of negative people. Um, yeah, or, yeah. you know, angry people or, you know, whatever type mm. of people they might, but you, yeah, um, it, I totally agree. Yeah, I just, I, I wonder how we could bring something like that into the schools. I'll have to oh, think about yeah. that. It would be amazing. I Wouldn't that be amazing? Changing, you know? A lot mm-hmm. of children, children's schools, they've brought in meditation to the schools now because they're realizing the children are just getting stressed out and anxious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, and um, I, I've seen some of that here and there, and um, especially in Europe. Europe, they do a lot more of that, I think, than the United States, for sure. Although there are some programs that are doing it in the U.S. now, uh, I've seen come across a couple times. But just talking about Ooh. energy, we wouldn't even need to, we wouldn't even need to talk about that the idea of talking to angels, right? Just the the idea of em, yeah. empathic abilities, energy, and chakras. Chakras mm-hmm. are scientifically shown, right? Because the meridians and the yeah. um, they can show it now through photo. I forget the type of um, yeah. photography that they use now, yeah. but they can show the chakras now. So yep. it's not That's some fine. mystical stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it used to be. <laughs> right. But um, you talk about energy alchemy as well and how we can literally transform. Oh, this was another question that I had. Um, you had mentioned in here about water and talking to the water in our body. Uh, I thought that was a very interesting yeah. thing. Talk to me about that a little bit yeah. and tell us. Yeah, so Dr. Oh, I can't remember his name. It might have been Dr. Emoto. Um, sort of brought this idea first to the planet. It's been scientifically proven now that water has its own consciousness and it's in it's affected by emotions and intentions. So um, again, in in my programs, I like to teach women about this because so many of us um, don't talk to ourselves very nicely. And Mm -hmm. I show people the the way the water is actually affected by our our negative thoughts and then by our loving positive thoughts. And, And the change is just massive. And I say to them now, now imagine how the water in your body is reacting to your feelings of of low self worth or not loving yourself. So it's so interesting. Yeah, yeah. I um, I've read that book, Healing with Water, or Healing 
water or something. I, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, um, yeah. I was really struck by the the pictures in there. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Very amazing. So, um, yeah. So, do you um, recommend that people, you know, like when we're doing the water and we have to actually go on a break again, but um, do you recommend like um, health eating and exercising? You mentioned exercises and things like that um, for chakra clearing. So hold on to that thought um, and we'll come back to that when we get back from our break. This is Renee with CEO Essence and we'll be right back. If you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Kohler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards. She is a Spirit Book of the Year Gold Medal Living Now Book Award winner. And her book is a number one Amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the Living Now Spirit Book of the Year. An inspirational speaker, MJ will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life. Your life did not just happen to you. You chose it, which means you can change it. Visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024. All right, so we're back um, live with Sarah Lines from Australia. And Sarah's... um, we were talking just before the break about like exercising and eating. We actually were talking about water. Um, I've been drinking alkaline yeah. water, for example. And when I hold a glass, like I'll hold a glass and think positive, loving thoughts and then hand the glass to my child yeah. because of that book that you were uh, mentioning. Um, you know, and I, and I let them know, you know, this water has positive loving thoughts. Here you go. You know, and it's funny because, um, like Aiden, he had a, um, headache. This just happened maybe in the last six, six months or so. He had a really bad headache. And so I went, got, got a glass of water, sat there with loving thoughts, thinking about how, you know, how healthy he is, how wonderful he is. And I handed it to him, said, here, drink this, you know, it's got healthy, loving thoughts. And his headache was gone. Beautiful. He was just like, uh, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> it is, and that's why I call it alchemy, because it is it's just magical. It's beautiful, but it works. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So you mentioned when you work with somebody, you may give them exercises. Um, aromatherapy is another thing that you do. Um how yeah, do so I, I mean the, everybody has a do does everybody have a different thing that they need to do to keep their chakras clear yeah well it's it's very customized and tailored to the client depending on uh really depends on them and their energy and yeah that's a good question it's very very tailored so you know some women may may need more, a lot more grounding and protection of their energies, where mm-hmm. some may need to drink a lot of water, be around a lot of water, um, and, and clear 
clear them their energy another way like really depends on, on the woman that makes sense yeah yeah huh interesting wow sarah like i don't even know where to go next <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how about we share, um, just talk, share like a simple daily technique, something that somebody can do daily to just kind of help keep their chakras aligned, cleared, whatever, you know, just, um, because you touch on a couple things in the book. Definitely. Yeah. So, um, something I I actually did myself when I first started before I'd gone on to become a healer or anything was lie down in meditation and just intend with my breath. I, I if it makes sense, I would breathe into that chakra and then breathe out of that chakra, just allowing any blockages to dissolve and and flow away. And it's it's such a simple easy um, activity that you can do daily to really help clear your own chakras and keep them free of any debris and, and blockages. Yeah. So just breathing clearly, breathing with the intention of staying open and clear. Yeah. Yeah. And if they are really focusing on a spot. Like for me, my throat is, it's a spot that constantly, it, it, I have to con- mm. constantly be working with that. That's that for me is my, yeah, me too. <laughs> my Achilles heel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I yeah, breathe look, into I it. That. Blue light, yes. blue uh, several blue crystals. Yes. I have several crystals that I work with from my throat. Absolutely. Um, I I had some oils, beautiful oils delivered to me from the US actually, um, specifically for my throat chakra. And yeah, it smells divine. And anytime I feel a little, like a bit of a lump forming in there, um, I know there's a blockage coming up and I pop that on, make sure I'm drinking lots of water, breathing into my neck area and just get on top of that before it gets bigger. (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah yeah <sighs> yeah I uh for me it's um a lot of water for sure um mm-hmm. avoiding yeah. dairy and gluten is are the other two things for me because it, my body does react to those things yeah. um yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I had I had pasta tonight as I you know <laughs> talk about avoiding gluten hmm shame on me <laughs> um but um yeah and the crystals like when i'm doing reiki sometimes i'll lay down and um uh, you know i come from a school of reiki where you're not supposed to mix crystals and and reiki with anything else but i do anyway i'm uh, sorry melanie um yeah. but when i lay down i will put um you know one of the crystals on my throat as i'm doing the reiki and that really will help clear things as well Definitely, definitely. As I'm doing my and breathing. That, that I would recommend that. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and that is something so easy that anyone anyone can do. Yeah. Reiki is a wonderful, wonderful tool. I just love it. So, yeah. um, but I do have a question. What is quantum Reiki? Okay. Could, I'm, yeah, um, I'm just curious. It's a different yeah. title. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this I came across, I believe, early last year, and I was looking for something more to add to my practice. Um, yeah, so this is basically, you know, Reiki works with the universe, the universal life force. Uh, to put it simply, quantum Reiki works with the multiverse. So it's, it's a big concept to grasp, but basically it's it's honing in on all those energies from multiple universes and obviously using different keys or symbols, as, as we call them, hmm. to facilitate that okay. feeling. Yeah. 
All right. Well, we are on our last break. Um, and so we'll come back and, and, um, find out how people can get a hold of you because there's just so much that they can do with you or you can do with them. Uh, <laughs> this is Renee with CEO Essence. We're live on BBM Global Network and tune in radio. We will be right back. French Rastafarian baker Chef Hugues Mott is a fourth generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations and classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Chef Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Ugmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Global Glory, that's the work of Dr. Marina McLean, COO of Global Glory, whose calling is to serve God. A first-generation British-born Londoner of Jamaican descent, Dr. McLean inherited the hunger for the word from her father, who was a Bible teacher. Growing up, her home was filled with missionaries from the Caribbean islands and America, and she travels the world preaching the gospel. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology and an honorary doctorate of divinity and Christian counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. All right, so we are back with Sarah Lines, and Sarah has been sharing with us some uh, some of the wide variety of tools that she has to help um, help people, help women in particular, to really work through some of the different things that are going on in their lives and um, heal and heal from an energetic perspective. So, um, I know that for me personally there were, I was having some health issues and until I started dealing with it from an energetic perspective, it just, it wouldn't go away. Um, but you know, I started doing the energy work and here I am. So (laughs) fantastic. Um, and you know, but Sarah, you do a, a, just a wide variety of things and you have different offers <laughs> that you do, different classes that you do. You work with uh, pregnant expecting mothers, you work with children and babies. You know, it's interesting because not a lot of people do. Um, and, and maybe that's not true, but I, <laughs> In the circle that I have, I have dealt with, and um, women that I've spoken with that do Reiki, for example, they don't necessarily work with children. Um, so I found it yeah. interesting that you specifically call that out on your site, uh, your Facebook page, anyway. Mm. Um, because I, I, it's so important. Children, you know, they're stifled so quickly if they're if you yeah. know if they don't know. Um, I know I was. <laughs> yeah. So I love that you do that. Um, so I want people to know how they can get hold of you. And, you know, you're in Australia, but you can work with them remotely. And I think that's important for women to understand is they don't have to be in your backyard to be able to, to work no. with you. That's right. And, and in fact, all of my work is done remotely over the world now. I, I don't work from home since we moved to a rural community. So, yeah, I mean, the, the name of the business I own is called Sarah Chakra Clearing. It's nice and simple. And basically, you can just look up that website, www.sarahchakraclearing.com. And, and it's Sarah with an H. Correct. It's Sarah yeah, with an H. 
Okay. And so um, they can contact you on, um, you know, via your uh, website. They can contact you through the Facebook page. You have a Facebook page at um, Sarah Chakra. Um, dot, or, uh, 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 Sarah yeah. Chakra Clear Eyes. <laughs> Um, and, and also, yeah, I know it's, uh, one o'clock in the morning for me. Um, they can also find you on LinkedIn. So you're on LinkedIn. You're just kind of all over everywhere. So they can find you and just, can they schedule like a consulting conversation with you just to see if this is going to work for them first or. Yeah. Yeah. I also, um free 20 minute consult to see if myself and and the you know a prospective woman is going to be a fit for us both to work together and right. I like to know that I can help someone before we take that journey perfect well Sarah it has been a genuine pleasure and it's it's always so much fun to visit with somebody else that has a similar toolbox. Um, and, yeah. and you're actually out there using it and doing it. I use it as a tool. I don't, um, I don't necessarily do all of the healing that you do, but I have all of those tools, a lot of them anyway. Um, but it's Beautiful. been a genuine pleasure, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Thank so Sarah, the pleasure. Yeah, uh, Sarah is um, co-author of one. She is also the author of The Roots of Your Chakras. And um, it's been a wonderful evening visiting with you. Morning for you, Sarah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Renee on PBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And um, yeah, thanks, Sarah. We'll see everybody or talk to everybody next week. You've been listening to CEO Essence with host Renee Murata. Being your best in life and business comes when you practice compassion, build connection, balance masculine and feminine energies, and apply self-care. Embody your CEO Essence with host Renee Murata. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.